Hi, it's Doug Belshaw, MoodleNet lead here at Moodle HQ. It's the start of August 2018, and this is some work that we've been doing with Outlandish around UX Milestone 2, and this is Screencast 3. So we're going to get started and have a look at the sign-up process for a new user called Frankie. She's going to click on Create New Account, and she's going to fill in just the minimum amount of information that she needs. So she's going to fill in her name, her profile image, and she's going to select her emoji ID, which if you remember from the previous screencast, this is your permanent identification, visual identification to other users. So you might change your profile image and or your username, but this stays the same. So she shuffles until she finds one that she likes, clicks accept the code of conduct for MoodleNet, and then presses next. The subsequent screen for Frankie allows her to find things which are going to be useful for her particular subject or discipline. So she starts searching for sports science. She finds the tag. She clicks on there. And then she's presented with other tags, which might narrow down her search. So she clicks on fitness and some other ones just to narrow down the things that she might find useful. And then she scrolls down and presses next. She's taken to communities. Communities curate collections of resources. And this community that she's come across, BTEC Adventurers, looks inviting. BTEC is the qualification that she's teaching. So she, she goes to there and um, she goes down and she sees a particular collection, BTEC Outdoor Adventure Sport. Well, that's what she's teaching. So that's perfect. She goes into there, and lo and behold, Wirral Metropolitan College is where she's teaching. And these are actually her colleagues. So this is perfect. This is what she wants. So she follows that immediately. That's what she wants. She goes down, has a look at the resources. That's great. She notices that there's a notification. So she clicks on the notification. Yes, the Moodlebot tells her that she's followed the collection BTEC Outdoor Adventure Sport, but also it tells her that her profile is not yet complete. Well, she wants to complete it, so she clicks on there, and she sees that, oh, that's quite sp sparse for other users who want to find out more about me. So she clicks on the Edit Profile icon, and she changes her banner image. She can't change her emoji ID. That's now fixed. But she can change her role, the organization she works for, and her location. So she updates those, and she goes down to Save. And there we are. That's Frankie's profile. And even though she hasn't joined a community yet, she hasn't added any social profiles, she has got a list of tags which are telling other people uh, what she's interested in, but also surfacing collections and communities which might be of interest to her. So it's a simple workflow, but hopefully one which is going to be useful. If you've got any comments on this, please do let us know either in the comments section of this YouTube video or anywhere where it's embedded, either on the blog or on the Moodle.org forum.